Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world. Welcome back to the Risk Online Risk World Championships. I am Kilted. I am the reigning world champion, defending my title or trying to. There was 800 signups in this tournament, and I mean, the likelihood of going back to back is incredibly slim. So let's be real. But we're going to enter round one of the world championships. I'm going to be the black player in the fifth position. Let me look at my spawn briefly and send some alliances out before I show you the settings. I think it's very important to pay attention to your first turn and take it as accurately as pro possible. <clears throat> now, I need to hit white's territory here, right? Is that a plus two? That is a plus two. What else can I look for? Maybe this? Uh, in here, maybe? Ugh. How do I... How do I get a bonus here? Everybody's accepting my alliance. So right now, everybody's looking for bonuses. This is, sorry about this map. This is a terrible map for spectators. Like, look at it. It's kind of doesn't even fit on the screen. But you can see every bonus is basically just a little two or a little three. Yeah, he smacks out that and takes this bonus. That's a good bonus. I need to look at the portals. What do they do? Or the blizzards. This blizzard does nothing. This blizzard does nothing. This blizzard cuts the bottom off here. So that's pretty good. Orange says he needs to hit my territory. Damn, white's still here. Damn it. I tell Orange, I need to hit your territory. Uh, white's still here. I definitely need a turn one bonus. Priority one, turn one bonus, but priority two is a second bonus if I can. Preferably like a plus three. I also don't want to be in the same spot, like only one spot. Oh, wow. Okay. I need to hit your territory too. So what is my plan? Do I try to move this four in and then take this? I don't want to have these two bonuses, but it looks like that's my option, right? I'm not really going to get a shot over here unless blue leaves with this four. Maybe he will. I'm sorry, but I need to attack your territory. Let's see if blue will move out of my way. Maybe blue will move out of my way with this four. <clears throat> blue will probably want to take this bonus, right? He gets four troops to start. He can make a six and then try to take this bonus, bring his four out. He doesn't. He goes for this. Slam, slam. Interesting. Okay. He's rolling stacks instead of uh, one stacks. Whew. <clears throat> I need to attack your territory. Please, this four out. Okay, so my situation, <clears throat> I need to take this first off. And I probably want to fight over here on the right, right? right? Like, what, what can I make white go for? White doesn't have an option but other than in here. <clears throat> He's thumbs downing me. I have to hit it, though. Attack blue, yes. But I also need to hit that. No, I'm sorry, I need to hit your territory, dude. I have no choice. I could try to hit blue here. And then also hit white here. And then also tell red thumbs up. And I need to hit your territory. And then we're going to go six in. Bad dice. I have to take the bonus. Okay, let's do that. Give blue a thumbs up. And then I want to bring this two into here. Because I kind of want red to leave. And then give red a heart. Orange is going to roll my three in here, but I wasn't going to roll it out for him. He might not even. If he goes this bonus instead and leaves, send him a heart. Oh! Dude, can I get this bonus? Which one is this? Is it a plus three? Yeah, so residential. Like, I don't want to have bonuses beside each other. Sorry, guys. I, I'm really focused on how this game's starting. We're playing Stairs of Knowledge and Power. Uh, it's a smaller map. Obviously, you can see the connections are very weird. We're playing a fixed world domination game with alliances on, blizzards on, and unstable portals. So, uh, we are playing round one of the world championships. So, eliminating players getting kills and bounty points is worth it. I do need to maintain this position out here. Start with a cavalry card. I've seen a lot of big trades on three watching other people play these settings, so I uh, <clears throat> I definitely don't want to be in one position. I'd like to be in two and hard to kill. White's looking for a second bonus. He doesn't have a good line on one because this blue four now is stuck here. 
and then I took this, but like I definitely was taking that. I have to take a turn one bonus if I can. Yeah, he's gonna just take a card and chill. Where's his card though? Five on two? Okay. Red's down to 15 troops. Actually, Orange is leaving a four in here, so he's letting me out. Yeah, he's letting me out, but he's claiming that as a second bonus. Send Red a heart. And then, I'm sorry, I need to take your territory and then hopefully you can get the four out of my way. I have a four and a five pointing at it with this bonus, so I think I think he's gonna exit, but he might take it. Thank you, love. Mm. And I'm gonna say thanks, so I let everybody else know that that's mine. Right? So I need to come up with this and get this troop out, or I can leave it. I wanna take this bonus. And then I also want to come out of this bonus and maybe bring my three into it. Unless Pink's going to go ham for this. He might. Yeah. Give him a thumbs up. Okay. I need to keep these troops together. Maybe as a card trading spot. Maybe I fortify this three into the two. So I need to take... Orange says I need to hit your territory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I understand. I understand. I understand 100%. Yeah, yeah. Blue is going to go for... So everybody wants two bonuses, right? It seems like I'm going to get two and then have an exterior position. That'll make me harder to kill, which is all I really need. Red needs to hit my territory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not going to say anything because Orange is going to hit it. Yeah, I'll, I'll just give a thumbs up and I'll leave with that, right? I'll do that. I'll, maybe I'll suicide slam it out because I kind of want to keep this position over here. And then maybe bring that forward down. Yeah, a six, six, and a two. Roll the three out. Oh, I want to save that troop, though. This? Okay. I'm, I'm showing his a double cavalry. Damn. All right, we got to play in hard mode, of course. Send him a heart and then send Red a heart. Send them both hearts. I wanted to fortify these, but I actually had, when I rolled the three on one, I had that extra troop. So I might actually get to save, get to save these troops, all of them. But I do need a card somewhere. <laughs> the cards are going to start getting tricky. Maybe I can get a card in here. I don't know. Like, this 9662 is all very trapped, right? Do I just not get a card and I card skip a couple turns? Or, uh, yeah, yeah. He can roll my two. I don't think he's going to. Attack my territory if you need to. I would, I'd rather he hits my two. No, he's not. Okay. Because where do I get a card? I'd have to break blue or pink. Pink, I, I would be much less scared of blue by breaking blue. He's on 19 troops with only one bonus. Pink's on 24 troops with two bonuses. So pink's getting plus five, blue's only getting three. If I hold this plus five a couple turns, and maybe even if I card skip a turn or two, that's not the end of the world, right? I just need to be strong and not get fit. At some point, people are gonna run out of cards, right? I just stack these two positions. I'm gonna move my seven down, I guess. Where's Red go for a card? His card situation is break my bonus or break orange. I'm really hoping he breaks orange. That's a, that's a heart. That's a heart for Red. Red Red was in a situation where he like, had to hit a stack, break me or orange. He chose to hit orange. I'm very thankful for that. I wish he'd hit my two. I, I wanted to tell Pink to attack my territory if you need to, to get him to hit the two, but I think he would actually hit my one. And I don't want him to hit this. I want that plus three. Desperately want the plus three. It's more important to me than a card. Especially if I'm getting cavalry. <clears throat> uh, oh, yes. Stay there. I get a card here. Oh, baby. I get a card. Oh, yes. All right. Um, and then he does that. So I maybe move my two or to my four or my four to my two. Or just leave it. Oh, blue's gonna go smash, smashy smash with a nine. No, no, he's got cards in here. Just wants to keep this position alive. Blue's in two positions. I'm in two positions. I'm gonna hold both bonuses. We're gonna get strong. This game can stabilize and last a couple hours, but I'm not gonna. I'm 
First, I just want to survive. Second, let's try to get people eliminated, right? That's obviously the next play. Um, yeah, so we want this to be an eight, a six, and then I'll put this as like a nine on the portal, I guess. Oh. I'll put this on the portal, actually. Yeah, yeah. and then I'll give Pink a heart. Okay, so two cavalry and a dude. I'm on 30 troops at the end of this third turn. I have the most troops right now. I'm going to lose a troop to orange here, but that's fine. I might not actually. Yeah, so at the end of the third turn, we all have three cards. I'm on 30 troops. I have a lead, two bonuses, two positions. So far, so good. Very pleased with this. Orange could easily get knocked into one position if this seven disappears. Same with red. Red's got one bonus in two positions. Also, orange took his bonus back, didn't retaliate on red. I think that's a well played. A lot of people might fight and go to war and die with somebody over that. He's not. So that's a little unfortunate. I would I'd prefer they killed each other in there and then I got both their bounties, of course. But uh, no, he decided to retake and now they both... We have a trading zone. Four people here can trade here. And then I guess white and blue can trade in here. Is it... Well, three on one? No, that doesn't make sense. Or are you taking this bonus? White might be taking this bonus. Interesting if he does. I'll probably want to move this six back. Or I, or, I, or I stack this to make blue hit something for card, but it might be my two if I'm the one blocking him. I don't want to be the one blocking blue because then he'll hit me for a card. Oh, no, I thought he was going down. Sorry about the map, guys. There's no way, like, I could change the visual uh, resolution so it fits on the screen. Like, we go back to 480 days or something, but uh, it's just the way this map is designed. Stairs of Knowledge and Power. Yep, he takes a card and we're chilling. Does he block pink? He does block pink, so pink now has to hit my uh, two, or this one, or this one. He's got a couple bonuses to break, or he can hit my two stack. He's going to tell me that he needs to hit me, and I'm going to give him a thumbs up. I'm going to wait till he figures it out, because if he doesn't figure that out, and he has to hit, and he hits somebody else without seeing this, I'm also happy with that. Right, if he hits red or, or white, I'm 100% happy. If he hits my two stack, that's fine. But I don't want to tell him you can hit me. I don't want to give him the idea, right? It's better for me if he hits somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's fine. He sees it. Give him a thumbs up. <clears throat> yep, yep, that's fine. I didn't have a chance to fortify that over, right? I wanted to put those stacks together, didn't get a chance. Blue's on 29. Nobody, oh, white traded. I could use an artillery, that'd be nice. I also need to make this stack bigger because I cannot lose, I cannot be knocked down to one position, right? If somebody is communicating with somebody else, like let's just say white and red, and white's like, I'm gonna hit this stack out, and then red's like, cool, big trade, Kilted's dead. It could be that fast, right? <clears throat> and I don't wanna play that game where I'm vulnerable. Blue now has no card. <clears throat> He's going to break white. Yeah, yeah, white's the one that blocked him in here, right? I'm either blocking blue or pink here. That's the problem. I have to make that stack big, though. Uh, okay. One, two. Make this a 10. Make this a 10. So I have a 10, a 10, and a 10. Now, I need to give a card to red. Orange can give a card to red here, right? So actually, I can do card to pink or card to blue. Or I just keep trading in here and leave my 10, or what? I think this is okay. Yeah, so I've got a nice little two guard, little two guards on my bonuses with, with uh, 9, 10 stacks, right? We do have a big trade on for it. That's excellent. Now, can we get somebody to feed me a kill? Who would be somebody I'm lined on? Orange, I guess. I'm completely lined on orange, but it's got 35 troops. <clears throat> Pink and blue take the um, attack orange, attack orange, attack orange, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs down, thumbs down. and then give red the thumbs up. So I have just asked red, pink, and and blue uh, if they'll hit orange with a thumbs up, thumbs down. Yeah, yeah. 
And now if, if red hits orange, will pink hit orange? I'll just send him a heart. No, he's not. Okay, okay. Attack white blue wants me to do. Okay. Red red said thumbs up, but he didn't move. I don't blame him. Um, would pink hit red out of here? Would I be able to kill red? No, through the six. I can't get to the 18. I, I mean, both bonuses plus a big trade goes through a six into this. But I would need pink to kill the 12. What could blue feed me? Probably nothing, right? Would somebody feed me blue? Um... No, because Blue's about to trade, and I don't have troops pointed at him. Yeah. So, like, they can't feed me Blue because I actually can't get him with... I don't have a stack pointed at him. Red also did give uh, Pink a card here. I hope Pink's not going to block us because we need red, red and Orange to get cards in here. Okay. He goes back. Blue gets six. He, again, has to take a card on me or White. He didn't... He could have also hit my two, but it was White the one that finished this bonus. Blue wants to get in on card trade action, too. He, there's the trade. Flake. I mean, I could almost get orange. If he hits the 11, I could kill orange, right? Attack orange. Thumbs up or thumbs down. I mean, if he hits the 11, and I can come through with the 10 here and the 10 here, and then I just put everything else here to... Okay, okay, we'll give him a heart. He doesn't wanna, fine. He's gonna keep taking cards off white. So I'm gonna trade and be strong. Not messing around. Do I have any plus twos anywhere, somewhere I'm gonna be in the future? Maybe on Watchtower. So do I get to save Watchtower? I can, just in case. Okay. I probably want this to be 18. 14. Make this a 10. Make it 15. We'll leave a 2 here again. We'll go stack the... the uh, we'll stack the 18. That's good. Big trade. I'm on 52 troops. I have a troop lead. I mean, I guess Pink's two troops ahead of me because I think he's got two plus threes. No, two and a three. He's just doing well with whatever he's doing. Orange also trades. Now there's nobody that dies in the first trade order, which means we're probably going to have a longer game. Ah. Well, in an hour and 40 minutes from now, I have my Kill Pete Open round nine game. If you guys are watching this on YouTube now, it means you've probably already seen that because I, I'm planning... Today is Friday. I'm planning on releasing the Kill Pete Open game tomorrow on Saturday and then this game on Monday or Tuesday. So if you're seeing this, my Kill Pete, you guys already know the result for my Kill Pete Open Round 9. I'm hoping it goes well. I don't know my result yet. How do you guys know before me? Weird, right? Uh, yeah, he's going to take again, and then what? Same situation for Blue. I want Blue not to want to open me either, because I have lines on all of them. If he opens his 21, I can kill him, theoretically. I want him to be scared of that. Our opponents are CM Stark. We've got Free Through Christ. We've got Shrug X, the official Tanner, and Julius Belay. White's thinking about breaking pink? I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. He's not. This is about the most of the map I can show, and then I can scroll down just a little to show the top. 6, 2, and a 19. Something like this. That's not... Yeah, like, that's about the best I can show you. With me not covering anything. Red's going to trade now. He's not going to... Hit anybody, I don't think. Now, the people on one bonus will slowly fall behind a little bit. He wants to stop breaking white. Hmm. Okay. Thumbs down. Fuck off. You're not going to feed me a bounty and then you're going to hit me? I don't think so. Pretty close to having lines to killing him if he does something. Like, blue could take this from white. White's retaliation path is non-existent. He could literally take this bonus from white. And then, trust me, he should... I, like, I don't have a stack point at him, so he can hold it from... And pink doesn't have a stack. This would be the turn to take the whole bonus. And white couldn't retaliate. 
Yes, keep doing that. Exactly. Keep taking your cards there. I'm going to buff my two, maybe? <clears throat> uh, Red has a card here. I could give him a card on the other side. Maybe I do this. Make this a 15 and a 22. I want access up there, though. I don't want a point of pink. That's the problem. Like, if I come down, how do I get out with that stack? I probably don't, right? It's just a survival stack. It's not a, a kill stack unless a portal happens. All right, well, I, I give blue that card. Do I, I think I have a big trade. I do, big trade on three. Man, could I kill somebody? Portals are about to close, so no opening. It's 15, if it was up, I could think about orange. Orange is very vulnerable. He's got a lot more troops than some others, right? Like, white is the weakest, and, and like, by far. I would love an opportunity to kill white. I can't get to this, though, or this. I'm not pointed at white is the problem. There's no easy way for me to point at white. Like, you could think the 16's pointed, but this blizzard actually... I know it blends in with the white color, but it's actually... It's a wall! Can't go that way. White's going to retake, and now blue wants to take cards over here. Trading with white in this pocket. See, the length of time where I wasn't taking this card was forcing blue and white to trade in here. But I think blue figured he signaled me to get over here. Like, I think that's what he was trying to do, is signal me he wants to trade cards over here. So, like, if I deny that, he might actually start breaking me instead. And I don't want to have that as a problem. God, I just want to kill somebody. Uh, portals are about to open. So I might actually go back to that portal, because it's a portal. Nobody's... Nobody wants to feed a kill or anything. This is this is annoying, because I really... Like, in an hour and a half, I have to play another game, right? So if I lose my World Championship title belt, by round one, having to just slam out and go to the next games, I, I will do it. it. It's unfortunate if that's the case, but... The, we are in the late stages of the Kill Feed Open Tournament. We're in round nine, top 96 people out of 2,000, essentially, right? That's uh, quite interesting. I'm going to card block white now. Trade. Point at blue or what? I want to be on the portal. I'm sorry, but I need to attack your territory. I'm going to make this like an eight. Blue. How much does blue get a turn? Six. Okay, so I'll make this like a eight, and then this here. Gonna do that. Um, I'm not lined on pink. Do I want to be lined on orange? Would anybody think about feeding orange? I really want to start knocking people down on this board. Orange doesn't trade. On 63. Right, like this 25, like I can come off this and hit this. This 25 can jump in this portal. And kind of come through and hit this as the 24 comes up. Like, I could kill orange for four cards. For sure. Can I get help? <clears throat> White's got to take a card here. Um, blue can't hit orange. Um, attack orange. Uh, thumbs up or thumbs down. He's got portal access. Red. Um, attack orange. Thumbs up or thumbs down. And then I'll try pink. Attack orange. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Like we have to use the alliances to do something, right? Will he hit orange? He's gonna, no, he's gonna take this card. Control here. Yeah, yeah. Did pink just thumbs up me? Heart. <laughs> I am, I have all of my troops pointed at orange for this turn. And I've asked every the three people in front of me to help me to help me facilitate this. I can't.
kill 63 troops to get one trade. Not worth it. <clears throat> He's going to take one card here and pass. It's not going to help, right? Okay. So red is free through Christ. Okay. He doesn't want to do any feeding. That's okay. I'm willing to take damage. It's too late. There's like I, like there's nothing I can do about that. It's turn order based, right? I can't attack orange and lead the charge when orange can retaliate and kill me. Like I or or ruin my game, right? I can't send it into orange without killing him, leaving him alive to try to feed it to somebody else cuz orange goes after me. My best chance is to kill orange by getting the people in front of me to help, right? And nobody wants to hit it. Okay, that's like I don't blame him for not hitting an 18 out of nowhere. I mean, I would fully kill orange right now. He's going to take a card on the orange one. So we're, we're actually going to be in a long game because people don't want to fight. I mean, what, what kind of feed can I do that would make sense? He's going to hit white or orange. Orange, orange, can't reta or orange could retaliate. He's got a portal, right? <laughs> God, I want to kill orange. Man, I want to kill orange so bad. So this portal, I can't. Blue's on five cards. I, I'm not going to kill blue, obviously. I just... Do I... I don't want to play the sit and take a card and pass game. I, I, I don't want to play this. You attack blue. Like, everybody wants to do nothing. I understand. I'm trying to do stuff. It's not working, right? At least for now. Twenty-four does no access to anything. Uh. Orange trades. He's gonna go back into blue, or is it just gonna retake? Ah! Like he wanted me to hit blue, but I like. Blue hit orange a little bit after I asked, like, this is the problem. I asked blue to hit orange because I wanted everybody to hit a little bit of orange and then I'll take the kill, right? We all lose 10 or 20 troops. I lose like 40, but I get a trade back and a bounty. It kind of evens out. We go down to a five player game. More bonuses are available. There's more uh, space open on the board for people to find pathing on each other, stuff like that. But I, I, I couldn't facilitate it, right? Where everybody would hit like a, a, a 10 stack or something. What what is the skills in the lobby? Stark is a beginner. Free through Christ is a master. Shrug is a master. The official Tanner is an intermediate. Is he gonna break blue? Probably not. Julius is an intermediate. So master, two intermediates, two beginners, if I'm right. Or two masters. Two masters, two intermediates, and a beginner or something like that. Okay, so now I wanna be on this portal. The problem is the longer this goes. The more, the more it's going to stale me. I really, really don't like these settings. I really like how I, I stabilized. I'm in a position, I'm only one troop behind pink. We, we are kind of the troop leaders right now. But not even by a lot. Orange is only five behind, right? And then white's only four behind that. Well, I guess he's already got his troops for this turn, so. But white and blue took a little bit of damage on the shenanigans over here. And blue's taking more by trying to get cards. I, I, like... Card blocking blue is pretty much my best chance at causing a bit of mayhem. Nobody's going to hit a substantial stack now. It, it, uh, it's like Classic Fixed. If you guys watch me play in tournament when I play Classic Fixed, my Classic Fixed games in tournament are like 30 minutes long. Other people's Classic Fixed games can go two or three hours and they're just slog fests of like... Because the thing is, once everybody has 30 or 40 troops, but four cards or something, you can do a little feed into a kill, into a trade, into a... You can get some kills and their their value isn't like super negative at that time, right? Uh, I need to give red a card, maybe? Or orange is gonna give red a card. White's unhappy. Because blue has to break them. Yeah. It is what it is, doggy. He says good game. Is he gonna take the bonus? This is a very frustrating game, man. 
So it's like, yeah. So like, as I was saying. Here. I think that's a big trade, but like at this point, I don't even care. I mean, I'm getting great cards, let's be honest, and I managed to make my spawn work for me, so. But yeah, where were we? Um, so like, as soon as everybody has 60 or 70 troops and three or four cards, all of a sudden the kill is not worth it, right? If, 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 if everybody has 30 and you have like 45, you kill 30, let's say you drop down 25 troops. So you went from 45 down to 20, but now you trade and you're back up to 30 or 32 with the plus two. You've traded some troops for a bounty and you're still strong enough to likely survive depending on your positioning. As soon as everybody has 60 troops, I can't kill anybody and then survive. If I killed blue, uh, I'll probably be on 30 troops or 40 troops by the end of it at most. And then what happens? If I'm on 40 troops, somebody's gonna take that bounty, right? Because if blue was on 40, somebody would take his bounty now. Same thing. Hmm, okay. They're gonna knock me out of this position because I'm card blocking them to force them to fight. Interesting. Okay. All right, all right, good luck. I think blue's gonna hit that too, so they can trade over here. Then I'll be in one position. It is what it is, I'm the only person trying to incite any violence, so that's how you get six. Okay. <clears throat> If blue doesn't hit my seven? If blue doesn't hit my seven, I will add over here and stack here. And I'll let them take cards. We'll see if I lose that position. Blue might actually not knock me out even after that. What, he just killed 19 of my troops? He blitzed 15 in to kill 19. Really good dice. Does pink knock me out? No, I don't think he would. Pink's got stacks lined on me if he wanted to go for a kill or something. Blue could still take this bonus. Oh, he might. There we go. <laughs> Now, there's no way I can kill white, right? I have to go through this 10. I have a big trade. What is orange telling me to do? You want me to do stuff? I'm doing nothing for you. Nobody's doing anything for me. I could, I guess I could feed something for you. Interesting. White slams that to stop this, and now he's going to get sixth place. I'm still alive. So if I go here, it's a 43. I got to go through the 10, a 1, and then I got to go into here. And I don't have another... There's no second portal. I can't actually get the white kill. It's only one card, too. So it's not like it's super worth. Uh, Orange wants the portal, right? Now I'm going to back off here and make this a bigger stack, right? If, if Blue and I are cool, I actually don't need the 10 pointed at him, right? <clears throat> Blue's got a second bonus now. Orange wants the kill, and I did get out of his way here. If he goes through the Blue 27 for the kill, that would be interesting. He might be able to. Actually, yeah. I'm giving him thumbs up. I want him to feel good about it. Kill him. Kill him for his one card, dude. No! That would have been so cool! He's gonna actually let him out to get a card? No. Taste it. This is the other thing about uh, playing in the World Championships. Not every single person in my group readied up. One person actually missed the game. Okay. He's gonna try to fortify down, but that doesn't work. He was just gonna hide. One person actually missed the game. So actually, somebody saw our lobby, saw we were looking for a person and joined, and then uh, that's how we got Stark in here. The person that tried to get into my lobby is the one that slammed me. He had reason to. It's not like he did that. <laughs> it's not like he didn't have reason to. Oh my god, I want this so bad. Fuck. How could I... Uh, he's only on two cards, right? It's not like... Maybe... Oh, Pink can take it. 
We can even just let him get a couple more cards. Pink might take it right now because he takes this bonus back. And then he gets this bonus. He'll be on three bonuses. What does that put Pink's position like if he gets bad dice? I have no troops pointed at him, right? This portal opens for me? No, it's not open right now. Yeah, good game. Good game. Stark goes down. Shrug kills Stark. Okay, first person down. That's very good. Oh, now what do I do? What's our board look like? Pink's down to 68 with four. Would he hit pink? No. There's no way I, like, my troops aren't pointed at pink. They just literally aren't. This 35, like, ugh. Blue wants to be in here so we can get cards in here, I guess. This this uh, orange 59 now comes out. He backs off completely on me, which I like. Something like this. Move over here, make sure pink has access to blue. And everybody has access to everybody. Not necessarily the best access on you. Okay, and like this. So I can be on the portal. I want access with portals. <clears throat> now, can we get anybody to feed anybody? Pink should be next to die. He took a lot of damage on that, only for two cards. But if he holds three bonuses... Maybe red takes one of his bonuses? Pink's holding three bonuses. Red needs a second one, right? Orange is going to go here and leave this pathway open to red. Red's, no, red's not going to hit anybody, right? I've been asking Red all game. He doesn't want to do anything. So I'm not even going to send him a message. We'll see. I think his game plan is sit and try to get first and one, right? If people fight and get a couple bounties, I think uh, some players can play with the strategy of, of sit back, do nothing, and just try to get first place with one bounty. He takes the nine out. And uh, Pink's weaker now. But if he trades, he gets eight in a trade. I mean, he's lined on me pretty good with his stacks, but he, he does not have enough troops. Where are we on cards? Just need a dude card. Triple big trades for me has been pretty nice, honestly. Taking the 19 troops of damage from white was a little annoying, but I'm still uh, basically in second place for troops. Orange is strong. Orange is probably going to be the one that goes for him. Oh, he's got lines on red, actually. He's got great lines on red. I don't think he's going to take it, though. How crazy are you, Ju Julius? You're an intermediate. Wait, that gives this bonus to Orange. I don't like that. Orange doesn't need another bonus. He's already very strong. Okay, so I have a portals open. I have... What access do I have? I have no trades. What's Blue's thinking? Just gonna chill. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, nobody's on 12 or more territories, so it doesn't really matter whose territory I do hit. Oh, interesting. Opens me more. So my 24 can kind of get out. But I don't really want out. Well, I can move to here, maybe. But that leaves me more in line for orange. <clears throat> Where's Pink's card, by the way, if I don't move? I do need to move, right? Because Pink's card. That's unfortunate. Let's do this. Nobody's going for a kill on anybody, right? Let's like let's be real. Orange could go for blue if I back up. No. So orange can't kill blue. Orange can't kill anybody really with these. I'll just chill like that. I did get a dude. That's four big trades in a row. The first one was on till, uh, not till four. Oh, wait. Uh, what did he, what did he ask? I didn't see his first message. I hope he's not pointing that at me. I would like, all right, back it off. If I give him a thumbs up, he backs it off, right? I think that's the important thing. He's taking it anyways. If I thumbs down him while he's his turn and he's in the attack phase, that's not a good idea. And if he's in the fortify phase and I thumbs down him, he's probably leaving the stack in my face. 
Now it's not in my face. Much better. I have a stack in his face. Red's actually... Oh, Red's card blocked now, so he has to take a... So he takes a bonus off of Orange. I wonder if Orange signaled him, hit my territory or not. So Orange goes to two bonuses. Red's back at two bonuses. No, Red's at three now. Very, very interesting. How can I get somebody to hit Red? Nobody's going to hit Red. Unless it's Orange. And if Orange hits Red, everybody else gets to act before me. Ah. Well, maybe I put the 27 up here. Okay, he's done rolling. I'm... I'm on a decent troop total. We're 40 minutes into the game. Oh, this is tough. <clears throat> um, interesting. Here we go. I was just looking at Discord. Um, okay, so I have the big trade. I take it. I'm never going to four cards if I can avoid it. I kind of want to be on the portal, though, in case something kicks up. Like, I actually have lines on pink, if somebody would have helped me with pink. But it would have to be blue, because anybody else helping goes before pink. So, like, cool, I have lines on pink, but that doesn't do anything. Um, yeah. At least I'll hold this position. I like this, I like this spot because I'm the one that has access and control. Oh, this game. Oh, well, we're guaranteed to get at least four points. Hmm. Okay. I guess the guy that got eliminated said something in the group chat, and then it, they muted him for it, saying, uh, communication's not allowed. Oh, shit, I saw what he, I missed what he was saying. Sorry, I missed it. I wish there... Everybody wishes there was a way to signal I missed what you were saying. He wants me to hit somebody, right? Red actually got to hold three bonuses and used it to break pink. But not open the 40. He broke pink in a spot that doesn't open a stack. Pick has no stack pointed at him, but he could go through this portal and re-break all of red here. And then bring this here. Or he just he's gonna just guard, he's not even gonna break, right? Oh, he does go for it. Does he go up left or left left? And nope, nope. Does he bring the 50 down? Nope. Brings it all the way back here. Okay. Interesting. Cause like you like just the way you view the board from like I don't know, left, top down, left to right. People think this would be the best spot to guard, I guess, in, in like a three-point bonus like this. But really, if, if he could... Sit, any of these three spots guards the bo bonus basically the same, right? And red and blue are both hard-pointed at him. Uh, man. Dude, I want to kill everybody! I really do. Oh, and blue also got removed from here, which is good. This position, no troops are pointed at this 35, so I actually don't need to worry about that. I think I'm going to 41 here, and then 43 here. I'm not hitting pink. Where's Orange getting his card now? Oh, Orange is running out of cards, right? He maybe... I mean, Red doesn't need three bonuses. <laughs> I wish I saw what Orange was communicating to me. I really do. Forty-five minutes in, and I also like it's not just that I have that tournament game in like ninety minutes or like in seventy minutes. Oh, oh, he's killing him. I want both these guys to attack orange now. <laughs> Pink can't, but I need blue to attack orange. He can come through the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attack orange. Orange is about to be on... Now orange is the weakest, but he's got a bounty. So uh, Julius kills free through Christ.
Okay. Pro game's progressing. Sorry, I need to attack your territory. So, Pink can't really do anything unless he comes through the bottom. Interesting, okay. How much of orange would blue actually consider hitting? Because he's on four cards. Like, if, if he took 20 troops out, would I trade 50 for a bounty? Maybe. Uh, if pink guards this, though, then blue can't, right? Blue can't even hit him now. That's a massive mistake. Pink. Attack pink, and then orange. Pink into orange. Blue and I can go first and second right now. He doesn't understand. Pink, orange. Oh, he does understand. He's going to just kill pink. No way. Dude, I hope he actually gets terrible dice and I can get the kill. No, he's got it. Okay. So I should be able to kill orange. I should be able to just kill orange and win the game right now. Kill orange into blue. Wow. He should have, I think he should have committed all of his troops and just rolled that too, but that's fine. Okay, um, let's see how this goes. Let's roll this first and see how far we get. And then we will uh, attack orange, of course. Of course, blue. Of course. Ooh. Let's just do this. Just in case the other one failed, I split some troops over. Of course. Woo, baby. Let's go. And then this should end this. This should be a 17. This should clean the rest. Oh my god, first and two? I will 100% take that. Is my slider on? No, it's not. Let's go. We ended up squeaking out. Can I click the territory dog? And it ends in time. He did real. I'm like, we could go first and second right now, bro. And he saw it. Oh, oh man. Uh, good game. Well played. Yes. Round one, win with two bounties. 18 points is a great way to start. Very happy with that. And it ended immediately. Look how fast the game ends when one person goes out. All of a sudden, another guy gets like, oh, that bounty looks really juicy. I take it. And then he's a little too weak. And then another guy's like, oh, he's a little too weak. Maybe I'll take that bounty, right? Because all of a sudden, you can be on the chopping block of like, somebody may take me out next. And if I could get taken out next, I'd better take somebody out first and get those bounty points. Because it's a point structure, right? That's how the, the tournament usually begins. And uh, that's how you incentivize some damage there. So that was a great bunch of fun. So round one, title defense, good start. Uh, I will catch you guys in round two next week. Thank you all for joining till the end of the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next one.